What's going on guys, Vulcan here, and today we're checking out the brand new, just released trailer for Embers Adrift. And I wanted to give a big shout out to Embers Adrift for partnering with me and sending me the trailer early. But before we get into that, a lot of you are probably asking, what is Embers Adrift? So this is a new indie MMO coming in 2022, created by a team of 11 developers who have a huge passion for the genre. And what they're trying to do here is kind of capture a more traditional experience with the game. They wanna blend the strategy and thoughtfulness of tabletop RPGs with the exploration and adventure of an MMO. And because of this, they don't have a lot of things like a mini map or big exclamation points showing quests. You actually need to chat and interact with the world to discover quests to complete. And because of this, you can also explore the world to find hidden treasure and the bosses that might be guarding them. So go out there, defeat them, find some cool treasure, get some really cool loot. Now, combat is also slower. It is more strategic. This is something that they really were hammering home. And because of this, you need to take advantage of crowd control and plan out combat or else you might get overwhelmed and die. You can't just pull like huge groups, AOE them down in two seconds and then move on to the next thing, right? This isn't like a World of Warcraft Frost Mage style thing. This is, again, more strategic and slower and thoughtful. Now, I was able to play Embers Adrift with the developers a little while ago, right? It was probably a month ago, and it was a really fun experience. It felt like we were playing a Dungeons & Dragons campaign. I remember saying that as we were kind of sitting around the, the Ember Ring, which is like a campfire, and I was like, this felt like a Dungeons & Dragons game. Like, like, we just sat down, played through a campaign as a group, and it was such a fun time. It was a really kind of it's a really different way to play for me, right? I'm so used to playing action RPGs and modern MMOs where just speed is everything. How fast can you clear something? How fast can you kill this boss? How fast can you level up to, to end game? How fast can you do all of these things? So taking a step back and then playing more methodically was a big change of pace for me, but it was one that I really, really enjoyed in a group. So I took up the healer role and I was in charge of keeping our party alive. We started off by kind of getting used to combat by fighting some wildlife, you know, rabbits, bears, deer. And we were doing this on our way to a dungeon. And this dungeon was tucked away in this bandit camp. And let me tell you guys, so when they say combat needs to be planned out, that is 100% correct. You can't just grab like three or four of these bandits because they will end up overpowering you and wiping out the entire party. So we had to designate a polar for our team which I know is something that a lot of people haven't heard since probably EverQuest 1, maybe EverQuest 2, some of those classic MMOs. So we had a puller, and this ended up being our range DPS that we had in the party. She would pull one or two bandits, we would kill them, and slowly make our way to the dungeon entrance. Now, I'm not going to spoil the dungeon experience for you, but just know that these places are massive massive. You can easily spend hours. I'm talking hours just exploring this and looking for bosses, for loot, for secrets tucked away. There's so much kind of packed into these areas and it was such a fun, fun time. So again, I think if you're someone who really loves Dungeons and Dragons, traditional MMOs, and generally a more group centric experience, Embers Adrift is one you need to check out. Um, I have been following this one for a very, very long period of time. And finally getting able to get in and actually play the game was super, one, rewarding, but also very fulfilling. Um, it was just a different experience than you get from other games today. So the developers had shared this trailer, the, the main trailer here, um, with me a few days ahead of time. And I recorded a blind reaction. So we're going to get into that and then we'll talk about... Uh, a little bit more of Embers Adrift afterwards. So just as a reminder, what you're seeing in this trailer is alpha footage and is subject to change. So just keep that in mind going into it. Okay, so we have the official game trailer for Embers Adrift, this brand new MMORPG. And what we're gonna be doing is giving this a watch. So um, the developers had sent it to me and they're like, hey, check this thing out. So I'm very, very excited to, to be able to jump in and, and check this out. Um, this one has been on my list forever and I'm glad that we're finally getting to one, see an official game trailer, but two, I feel like we're getting closer and closer and closer to either an early access period or a full on release, um, next year in 2022. So let's go ahead, let's watch this and we're going to experience this for the very first time together.
Oh, I like that huge wall. For generations, they have sought its power. Ember. Ooh. Look at that rift. <laughs> oh. No one can tell you where to find it. There are no guys. Fishing spot. You must discover the path for yourself. Ooh. I love that wall. And when the darkness surrounds you, only you can light the way out. <laughs> Is that a molten bear? <laughs> oh, dude, it has like an anteater tongue. I love it. Oh, I've seen this. Screenshots of the giant ants. Dude, that wall. Serious Game of Thrones vibes. I love it. Oh my gosh. So much to break down. Okay, first off, love this wall. Like, whoever went out and kind of designed this and put this whole thing together, I love it. Because it just, it has that like foreboding like feeling to it. Like this is holding something very ancient and very powerful back or separating us from that. Um, and I either have this feeling that we're gonna have to venture beyond the wall, right? Or um, the wall is going to crack and eventually break down or there's gonna be a hole in it or something. So I really, really like that. And just the world, the world feels so open and alive. For generations, they have sought its power. Let me watch it again. See, this whole thing here, I love the look of this. First off, like so many questions, right? Is this like a portal? Is this like a dungeon? Is this going to be like where a, a world boss resides? Like what's going on? Ember. I'm hoping all of this is explorable. Like this up here, obviously probably won't be. This is very like skybox. Um, which is fine, but even like the mountains like over here and everything in between down here, absolutely would love to just run through that. No one can tell you where to find it. There are no guides. fishing question mark. You must discover the path for yourself. And when the darkness surrounds, when the I love this. Look at this. Like, look at the lighting here. Like, all these, like, huge, like, lightning bugs that obviously look super hostile. I mean, they're sitting here, like, fighting against them. But this whole, like, kind of landscape, love the look of it. This right here, this is thumbnail-like quality. Like, if I can get, like, a crisp shot of this right here, like, this is brand new MMO, uh, Embers Adrift coming soon. Like, love it. And when the darkness surrounds you, Dude's shirtless, just fighting Only bugs, you man. Can light the way out. See, this thing looks intense. So it's obviously a big lava bear or something. And this dude, again, shirtless. This guy right here, man, this does not care. He wants to wrestle this thing. I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> but I love the tongue, though. It has like this anteater mixed with a bear. Obviously, like a fire golem look to it. And I just, I'm here for it. Shirtless again. Let's get it. Love the Conan the Barbarian Braveheart look here. But if we break this down, so like let's take a look at some of this stuff. So we got a bigger guy over here. It looks like he has a steel helm. He's got this action. Um, this guy looks like he has like an axe mixed with like almost. It looks like a, a shortened halberd, which is interesting. Um, dual swords, which I love. This guy has like an axe and a shoulder pad. We have our um, ranger, and then this person over here. I can't really tell what they're wielding, but. Looks like a one sword. Love it. I am very much looking forward to this game. And the thing is about this one too, is it's, it's one of those that it's one of those that as I've learned more about it and as the, I'll say the devs have released more, right, information, um, it seems to be just more and more and more interesting, right? They were talking about uh, last week, I believe, this like polar type of role. And a polar role hasn't been around for a very long time where there's someone designated in your group 
that is the puller. Like they will go pull the enemies. They're skilled at, you know, either knowing aggro ranges or they have the appropriate skill set or toolkit to pull things. Um, it's not always the tank. It's not always a DPS or a healer. It maybe it's that's their only, you know, kind of their specific role within the group. So that type of stuff I really like. And I feel like this is kind of harking back to that age of EverQuest and early like World of Warcraft um, where you have these kind of more niche roles that really kind of bring everything together. Even if it's just like a Dungeons and Dragons style party, that's something that I really like and I can't wait to see more of. So guys, I would say go out here. I'm going to put this right at the end again so that way you can see. But Embers Adrift, you can pre-order it now. It's out at Embers Adrift, embersadrift.com. Um, but yeah, if you want to learn more, they also have a Twitter. They have a Discord, I believe. So you can jump out there and learn more. But anyway, guys, add this one to your list, and I will talk to you next time. Okay, so after I recorded that, I did get some confirmation on a few things. So the giant kind of wall, right? Um, that wall that I was talking about. Yes, we can go past that. We can go north of the wall. And the mountains in the distance that I said were also probably a skybox. Yes, you can actually visit those and beyond them, which is just insane. I mean, this game is just huge. And the small amount of experience that I had with it didn't even scratch the surface. I barely got into any of the game. And in terms of these zones, they're just so huge. And hopefully they're full of everything, like just full of a ton of stuff to go and do. Um, but for now, what we can see is just, there's a lot of stuff to fight and interact with. So like we mentioned earlier, uh, the game is slated to release in 2022, but you can become an alpha backer and check out Embers Adrift early through some closed alpha sessions and then eventually beta sessions. And it also helped support the developer. You can check that out at the link in the description below. Now, the next closed alpha session is actually taking place right now. So if you were to sign up, you'd get your key, you could download it and then get in. It's going until January 2nd. Now, the devs will also be in the game and are more than happy to play the game with you guys, too. So if you want to reach out on Discord, you can actually see if you can get something scheduled with them and kind of hop in and they can either take you through the ropes or um, show you some of the more kind of big points of interest near the beginning of the game. All right, folks, so what do we think about Embers Adrift? Does this seem like something you're interested in trying? Does this really seem like something that's your cup of tea? Are you a big Dungeons and Dragons or tabletop RPG player that has been looking for an MMO like this? Let me know in the comments section below. As always, this has been Vulcan, and I'll talk to you all next time. Sound off one.